Hello and welcome back to Train Simulator Classic 2024. My name is LaserJet and today we are back on my custom route that I'm still in the middle of building. And today I am trying out uh, Caledonian Works' latest locomotive that's just been released. And the loco we're looking at is the Thompson B1 Mayflower. Now, I've only seen Mayflower twice in my life. The first time uh, when I was at Eastleigh, I uh, can't actually remember uh, what year uh, it was. And the second time was Eastleigh again, but that was that was quite recent, actually. And I'm actually really excited to actually have Mayflower in Train Simulator Classic. And I want to give a big shout out to Caledonian Works for being so amazing uh, for actually... Uh, lending me uh, this DLC. And if you guys want to buy this engine, I'll leave a link to Caledonian Works' website in the description below so you guys can buy this if you want to get it yourself. But we're going to take a closer look at Caledonian Works' Thompson B1 class and see what it's like. So if you're new to the channel, why not click subscribe? It's just a click of a button. <laughs> Now, first things first is the detail uh, in the, these 3D models. They're just absolutely... Mwah, they're beautiful. I absolutely love Caledonian Works' work. Caledonian Works' work. But the detail in the buffers and the uh, the texture is amazing. Oh, everything about that. And I, I tell you what, I love that nameplate. Detail in the wheels are incredible. I mean, that almost looks like Train Sim World worthy. But, um... No, on a serious note, <laughs> that looks absolutely amazing, and I love uh, the detail in like the uh, the metal. The metal just looks so realistic. And of course, we've got the tender, British Railways, and I love the uh, the red pinstriping uh, on the chassis. It looks awesome, doesn't it? Let's take a quicker, closer look inside. Ooh, very nice. Can we open the uh, the firebox door? Although I might not be able to able to because I'm in automatic fireman, so that might not open. Uh, I think we should just give it a test drive. So let's see if we can open the uh, the roof vent. Awesome. Uh, and does this thing have cab lights? I'm not sure. Although, hold on. There's... Oh, cab light. There we go. Hey, we've got cab light. Um, I don't know what any of these switches do. I think they're just there for show. But we do have cab light. That is excellent. I don't know what button it is for cab light. Um, I, I, you, just, you just have to click on that. I don't know what the button is. Um... Also got a little lamp there. Does that light up? Uh, I don't think so. No. Right, let's get moving. So let's turn the brakes off and then press J for the uh, uh, brake injector. Then press E once and let's put it in a forward mode. And it will press E again to lock the reverse in place. Good. And I think we are ready for the off. God, the cab looks absolutely amazing. I mean, look at that. Oh, that looks so cool. I love it. Um, and also, the thing I love about Caledonian Works is lo locos um, is the fact that you can actually get like wheel shots uh, as you're going along. So that's really cool. Right, let's do a two of the whistle. Oh, very nice. Uh, is there another two? Oh, I like that one. Let's do that one again. Oh, it changes. Oh, that's cool. Anyway, let's get uh, let's get moving. Let's give ourselves a little bit of power. So. There we go. Uh, regulator up. Let's take a look outside. Are we moving? Yeah, we're moving. Okay, good. Oh, the sound effects are good. <laughs> it's so nice to actually have Mayflower in this game now. Um, can we actually move the, uh, the window? Yes, we can. Lovely. Oh, this is so cool. And I love the detail in the uh, in the 3D cult. The 3D cult does look good. So we can go off nice and slowly. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, I haven't done the head code uh, things. Um... Should we have, um, what can we have? Should we have, we can have lamps. Uh, we'll, we'll have, we'll have, I think we should have disc codes. I like, I like the discs. Um, do we have that on? Uh, can we have headboards? Uh, oh, yeah, we've got headboards. Oh, excellent. Oh, that is cool. Um, I don't know which headboard to have. Oh, please tell me that Steam Dreams is here. Is, is here. Because that would be like the perfect headboard for this. Oh, no, it does, it's not here. Oh, that is a shame. I was um, 
I was kind of hoping we'd have the Steam Dreams uh, headboard, but never mind. We'll have um, we'll have this one instead. It looks nice. So we're going to go nice and easy and pass the class 50 at ease. Lovely. I might move the microphone a bit. There you go. So you can, hopefully you can hear me better. Uh, do a two at the whistle again. I mean, Mayflower does have a very high-pitched whistle. <laughs> that's cute. That's, a, that's amazing. So let's get a distant shot. So do a quick two again. Oh, it does sound very 1950s, doesn't it? I love it. Oh, I'll tell you what, we'll get a trackside shot, shall we, uh, of it passing the uh, the level crossing in my uh, my dream home. Oh, I'd love to live by the railway if it was actually this close. Do another two. Oh, that looks good. And I love the uh, British Railway uh, apple green colour. It looks absolutely amazing. So hopefully, uh, maybe we can actually start picking up some speed. So I think we'll put the... Uh... <gasps> Oh, okay, so that's really clever. So the more power you give it, the louder it gets. So we give it a little bit of power. So it's very, it's very quiet, but then we give it lots of power. Ooh, that sounds good. Let's get like a, a wheel shot. Ooh, look at those rods. Oh, that is amazing. This is a good engine. I'm liking this. But you've got to remember, Mayflower... It's not the biggest steam engine in the world. It's not the fastest, and um, it isn't the best looking steam engine. But I actually think it is quite good looking. But it's not something you'd normally see for a rail tour locomotive. But that's why I like Mayflower because it's kind of like a smaller tender engine. So it's actually quite a it's quite a mystery and quite remarkable how. An engine like this is mainline worthy because normally you see engines like this on heritage railway lines, but no, this is this is mainline worthy, which is kind of weird but really cool at the same time. But I am curious to see how fast this thing can really go, so I'm going to open up the taps. There we go. Oh, it does sound amazing. Let's get like a. God, from this distance, it's really loud, isn't it? I don't know if that's a sound bug. But if I go like all the way over here, okay, I can still hear it. It is still quite loud. Oh, there it is. I can just see it. Let's do a big two. Ooh, that is nice. Can I do like another two? Oh, I like that one. I love the reflection in the water. Oh, that is pretty. She's such a pretty engine. Again, she's not the biggest or the fastest, but she certainly is a pretty little engine. Well, when I say little, it's well, it's medium-sized. It's a medium-sized engine. So we're coming up to my first station, which is uh, Markham. Markham. I remember. I think I remember naming it Markham, or someone named it for me. I can't remember. But I have done more progress on the uh, on the railway. I've actually added more scenery and more grass and more detail. Ooh, looks very nice. And I've added some trees. Um, but I still got so much more to do on this railway. But it is it is coming along very nicely. Oh, that is excellent. I like I like the uh, the rank of coaches I've given it. I've given it like uh, a Mark One, a Mark Two, a Mark One, and then like. These Pullman Mark 1s, which I thought was a nice touch. And another Mark 2, and a Mark 1, and a, one more Mark 1. You can never have too many Mark 1s. But I like how random this consist is. It's quite a nice looking, uh, quite a good looking train, I think. So how is everyone doing on the platform? Everyone's looking miserable until this thing comes past. Oh, that is loud. Ooh. That uh, is going at some speed. I mean, speed limit is 70, but I wouldn't recommend going 70 around that corner. But no, now that we've uh, passed the station, uh, we can go even more faster. It's actually got some really nice sound effects as well. I, I mean, I think it sounds amazing. And it looks amazing as well. Um, although we are coming up to the tunnel, it'll be nice to see what the cab looks like 
in the dark. Now, I don't know if I'm missing any other features uh, in this uh, locomotive, but I think I've got the basics down. Oh, and we're approaching the tunnel. Oh, I'm going to see what this cab looks like in the dark. So here we go. Let's have a look. In the tunnel we go. Ooh. We know, be, it's a shame I can't get the fire open. I really want to see what it looks like when the fire's all open. Never mind, eh? Uh, out of the tunnel we go. Sunlight. Hey. Oh, I forgot I built this. I built like a nice uh, forest area. I completely forgot that this was all here. Well, even even I'm surprised. Ah, man, I have been busy. Look, I put poppies down as well. I've got to put flowers down. Ooh, and bluebells. I've done so much that even I can't remember what I've done. But I think we're coming up to our station, so I think we'll slow it down, apply our brakes. Though maybe we're coming in a little bit too fast. But never mind, we'll slow down anyway. Oh, the brakes on this are actually really good. Fantastic. So apply brakes a little bit more. Signals should change. That should go green. And that one should go red. Watch the signal change. Doink. And is the other one going to change? Yep, there you go. Doink. There you go. Two signals have changed. It's so, it's so satisfying to watch both signals change. I don't know why, but it's something, something about it. It's just It's just so exciting. Okay, so put more braking on. I've got wheel slip. How have I got wheel slip while braking? Can you... That's a thing? I don't know. I've got lots to learn. Um, oh, but that sound. That chuffing sound. Oh, that is good. That is fantastic. I, 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 there's something about Mayflower that I really do like. And Caledonia Works, again, you've done an amazing job on this. Great work. Absolutely phenomenal work. And again, if you guys want to buy this uh, yourself, I, I would recommend it. Uh, oh, no. Don't stop. We're not fully in the station yet. Don't stop. Oh, there we was picking up speed again. Okay, that's good. God, those chuffing sound effects are amazing, aren't they? And then we'll slow it right down. And then park it just right where the signal is. That sounds about right. Good. I think we'll park it right about here, I think. Yeah, this will do nicely. So, full brakes. There we go. Oh, those brakes sound amazing as well, don't they? Are we filling the station? No, we are not. Oh, no! No! We're not in the station properly! Might have to move up a couple of feet. Well, that's annoying. Well, let's do that then, shall we? Do a little, uh... Little toot. <laughs> that was the most adorable little toot ever. So, I think... About there, which it'll do nicely. Beautiful. Yeah, there you go. Now we're, now we're fully in the station. Excellent. There, there you go. Oh, this thing does look good, though, doesn't it? Um, the only thing I, um, I'm a bit disappointed about is that it doesn't have the uh, the Steam Dreams uh, headboard on it. Because I really do love the the Steam Dreams uh, headboard. That would, and plus, like, you know, there's only one loco, I think, that can wear that with pride. And it looks so good on it. And that is Mayflower. So... Um, I don't know if uh, Caledonia Works will probably update it to add the uh, Steam Dreams headboard, but if they don't, eh, it's no big deal. But um, apart from that, like, you know, tiny little uh, um, negative thing, I have to say. Uh, overall, the detail is amazing. The sound is amazing. Uh, Caledonia Works, uh, this is a, an another spectacular locomotive to have in my train simulator collection 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 oliver got there in the end but no caledonia works amazing job thank you so much for uh lending me this uh for me to actually try out uh, again if you guys want to buy this i'll leave a link in the description below to caledonia works website so you guys can buy this yourself i really recommend it it's it's an amazing uh dlc to have for your collection if you if you want to get it but I guess that concludes this video for today, my friends. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Follow me on my Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. All the links are in the description. And thank you all so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys in the next one.